Oh. Welcome back to another video. Tailgate talk. Follow up. Recap. Dessert Tech will be the sponsor of my rifle, or the sponsor of the channel today. Desert Tech. Tomorrow's Weapons. I think it's Tomorrow's Weapons. Either way, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for the likes and the subscribes. 151, I believe we're at right now. So, that is awesome. Smash the like button if you want to. If you want to. Either way, little update. Did an unboxing yesterday on this little guy here. This is the Sidewinder self-timing muzzle brake. It is a three-quarter by 24 TPI, or threads per inch, muzzle brake. That is what the Desert Tech SRS A1, A2, M2, uh, at least for the 338, that is what they have for a thread. And you can see this little workhorse here, <laughs> definitely in some rough shape. This guy was here. That is what Desert Tech brings on their rifle. Just a little two port, no angle, no nothing. It does have, it does have a uh, thread, thread protector on it for a suppressor I'm not sure which one I would imagine it is something that Desert Tech makes or is partnered with this brake is not very effective I'm sure it works better than no brake but it does not work as good as some other brakes so I decided to get rid of it and it was a nightmare to get off as you can see here there are torch marks, there are bends. It was darn near almost impossible uh, to get off. Had to heat it up, had to freeze it, heat it, freeze it. Put it in a vise, take the barrel out, put it in a vise. Wrench on it, heat it, spray it. Still didn't come off, it finally, finally broke free. Self-timing brake, this will, this is not... It looks very similar, actually, but this is just the thread on for the brake. It is not a slip over suppressor cover or a suppressor adapter. So, this is just a suppressor, or pardon, pardon me, a um, muzzle brake. I need to stop saying suppressor. They make adapters. So basically, I could untwist this, take the brake off, and then there's an adapter that can go onto a can that would slide onto it. And I might do that eventually, but not right now. Huh. This was a very easy process to put on. I have never messed with one of these brakes. There are one, two, three, four ports on each side. They're relatively aggress aggressive as far as them angled backwards. I don't think it's going to be a problem as far as like felt blast from the shooter necessarily. Uh, buddies or spotters are going to regret standing next to you, but whatever. Bought this. I like the guys at uh, 419, area 419. They do good work. They make good stuff. So, took the uh, adapter threaded it on they have a very cool little wrench here slip that on torqued it down threaded this on until it got snug leveled it out there's some index marks here yes the gun is loaded or unloaded once i got it some tension on there and that leveled up whacked it i believe i whacked it with a or on the back of like my rubber screwdriver or something like that that kind of locks it pushes the brake into the threads a little bit and allows you to cinch the collar down and it's on it's on there it's tight they recommend after four or five rounds to re-torque this down no biggie i will reef it down 
and we will call that good. I have yet to shoot it. I just got everything put back together and cleaned up. So I headed out to the range probably Sunday. It's the day of rest. So I will be resting on the range. The day of bench rest, we'll call it. <laughs> yeah. But just wanted to give you guys a quick follow up. I am actually very excited with how this break um, turned out. As far as ease of installation, there's no crush rot washers or spacers. Like this guy here was from the Dessert Tech. And it basically got smashed into here. It's not a smash washer or crush washer per se. It's just a little spacer. Uh, yeah, so that's a look, guys. Thank you for tuning in. As always, thank you guys for the subscribes, the views, all that stuff. If you guys got questions, I'll be doing a little range report or review on it uh, later once I get some actual trigger time. And we will go from there. I do appreciate it, guys. Desert Tech, where's my money? You're the sponsor? Give me a rifle. It's probably not going to work, but if it does, super cool. I'd take also barrels or accessories or even a sticker. I'm cheap. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, please do not. Be true to yourself. Stay safe, stay dangerous. We'll catch you on the tailgate, the range, or anywhere I am.